Ah, so nice to see that little dot around the uh, soul orb, even if it is empty. Hey guys, welcome back to this Hollow Knight. We might actually make some progress this time. Not much progress, but I think we're going to make some progress. Because I would like... I would like to run into an enemy, yes. I would like to finish the Howling Cliffs. Yes, that is their name. And then continue back to the Crystal Peaks. And by the crystal, and through the Crystal Peaks to the resting grounds. Though we do have a bit of ground to cover in the meanwhile to get those points. But we'll cover those grounds easily enough. Thankfully. Thankfully. And with our upgraded weapons, we can kill a lot of these enemies in one shot. Did I go over much with the charge attack in this? I don't think I did last time. The charge attack... I like this charge attack because it has its purpose, but it doesn't overshadow the normal attack. Like, I'm pretty sure in, like, Super Metroid, the charge attack just completely overshadowed the normal attack always, forever. And then, like in other sources, you only want to... You don't... You never want to use the charge attack. Here, it's... Each one has its own purposes. The charge attack does, I believe, roughly double damage. That said... Even currently, I can get off more than two attacks in the time it takes to charge that up. That is said, also, whenever you take damage with a charge, you lose it. The differences come in, the charge attack is very useful if you're in an area where you're not, like, you don't have many openings to attack the enemy. Especially a boss. Whereas, oh hey, there's a, there's a dream tree. Whereas a normal attack would do a lot more damage, damage per second. But it's also a little, you have to work a little more to make sure that you get the chance to do it. Because it's not as, like, you know, you don't have as many opportunities to get a bunch of hits in. Especially when enemies are not in, like, in a position where you can just go in and wail on them. So, like, a place like that, it's probably better to do a charge attack where you can just kind of be dodging, go in for one stronger attack, and then kind of come out. I'm going to use both, varying depending on the circumstance. For now, though, we're going to have to cross this area up, and then down, and then, like, up again to collect all of the spirit orbs. So, I think I got a little bit last time into the dream nail, and a conclusion I came to. Um, and I'm going to explain a bit more of that later on. For now, we want to collect all of these. That should be all of them up there. I think I need to climb back up because I'm pretty sure there's... And there's one out here. There's a few out here, actually. Two, and over here. When you actually are familiar with the game, you can just kind of rely and get very good at the mobility in this game. This takes a bit of practice, I admit. Though I've gotten decently good at the mobility requirements in this game. Not perfect, because I can make mistakes, as demonstrated there. But I also have enough Twitch response to kind of recover. Uh, there's enough games that require Twitch response, though. Um, I think I need to come... I, I need to go inwards. I need to go inwards over here and collect money. I'm going to try to collect as much money as I can now. We're actually going to be heading in the direction to unlock... Um, a much easier path to get money and... To be honest, we're actually fairly close to being able to get unlimited money. Because we need unlimited money. I should... I could probably show that off. I could do it right now very easily, too. Well, not right now, but I could do it before too long. I, I do like that this game does give you a way to just flat out have unlimited money. So you don't have to worry about grinding, per se. Oh, so that's what that looks like when that happens. Whack the tree. Wasteland. Bugs reduced. Sounds accurate. I should heal up here. Because the next area I'm going into is mildly annoying in a way. Because it's the second time I have to make this trip. Because the first time I did it without having down smash. And I'm smart. But I digress. We don't really need to do much here. How did I not stop in a place that would have dropped me in pit, uh, spikes? 
I am extremely impressed with that. Extremely. Oh, yeah, you came out of nowhere. I don't really have much to say on this area. Or, darn it. I deserve that. I don't really have much to say on this area as a whole because we've already seen me go through it once. I. Darn it. I wouldn't have to be progressing it all again had I come here a little later with one extra power up. But, them's the brakes. Them's the brakes. I'm so glad that we can take out all of these guys in one. Well, not all of them. They take two hits. But most of these guys take only a single hit. You, 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 safe. But our goal here, I suppose I don't technically need to come back here. I'm going to anyway, though, because I'm already here. But anyway. We got the charm in here. It was a from a man named Joni. Ah, oh, I see you bear my blessing. I can't remember giving it, but my memory has been a little lacking of late. Isn't it just so peaceful here? Such a perfect place to rest. You could use the Dream Nail on the uh, ghost there and absorb it. It'll only give you one essence, and you don't need to take up all the passive ghosts in order to get the maximum reward, so I'm actually going to pass on this. I think I mentioned already, there were a few... Hang on. Ah, that's it. That's it. was annoying. There were a few I was already intending to spare, so to say. That's not really a good term for it, though. That I was intending to leave be... But I'm thinking from here on out, I'm going to leave all of the passive ghosts uh, alone. Which, of course, means the poor graveyard guy is the only one who is unfortunately going to be joining us. That said, I, you still have to do all of the uh, trees and the warrior dreams. I think it may be possible to get away without doing one of those. But you're towing a line at that point. And I'd really prefer to show them all off anyway. So, effectively I only have two more things I'd like to show. I could probably go back to the Nail Master and speak to him. But first off... Gorb. I am Gorb! Bow! Bow, 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 bow to Gorb! The Great Mind, I am Gorb! Ascend! Ascend! Ascend, ascend, ascend with Gorb! Now we're gonna fight you. Gorb is actually not that bad. This is effectively his only attack. He will only do this the entire fight. This is an area where um, the charge attack isn't a bad idea. As he takes more damage, he will start doing this multiple times in a row. It's not that hard to do, though at this point, I'm probably just going to go right to the charge attack only. Because that will allow me to focus on dodging. And when he takes enough damage, he goes to three shots. I don't know how I dodged that one. I still got this. I still got this. I still got this, maybe. And there's Gorb. I am Gorb, the great mind. The pain! Ascend! Ascend! I... I am... Here lies Gorb, the Great Mind. Oh, once upon a time, perhaps. Ah, Gorb. You're... Not really a hard boss, all things considered. Most of the uh, dream bosses do tend to work in a way similar to that, as we've kind of seen. Also, fun fact, if you use the Super Dash off of this, you can bypass the King's Road. And you end up right in Durst Mouth. Or the King's Pass, rather. It's kind of mildly convenient to do that. Now then... Hmm. I think I have some grubs I can visit. I don't remember the last time I went to Papa Grubs. Because I would like to get some money before I continue on. So we'll see what I got. Because hopefully I have a decent penny. 
Because there's a few things I... We can actually probably get a number of charm notches from, uh... I can't remember her name. Wow, I cannot remember her name. Alright, Papa Grub. Give us the money. Oh, the Geo. Ooh, and a... Rancid Egg. Incredibly useful. Um... That's enough for now, I believe. That's enough for at least one thing I would like to get. We definitely have the resources necessary to get a, like, a lot of money right now. Uh, but I don't think I'm going to quite... Here I am, climbing up this without taking the ladder. I just on reflex. My instinct tells me to climb, not to go and press up. Over here, though. A slide! I would like... Darn it. I'll buy the elegant key, at least. The elegant key will be useful. Uh, where was the elegant key used? I think I know where the elegant key is used. We're gonna need to collect a lot of money. Oh, bothersome. Ah, uh, Elderbug, you have anything to say? Elderbug. Did you... Did you know the caverns continue even below the capital? Few have ventured that deep, so the details are scant. Those who made it back told of impossibly old structures and roads, formed as though the rock itself possessed a will. I may have read that one already, I don't know. I know we repeated that a lot in my failed recording. And then we've already seen this one. For now, though, we must progress onwards. And by onwards, we're going back up to the Crystal Peaks. We're not going to do everything here, but there is at least one thing we need to do, as well as getting back to the resting grounds. So we'll be here for a little while. Because the only thing, have we really gained much of anything since our last trip here? I don't think so. I'm pretty sure no. Hmm, yeah, that definitely does sound right. But there is one area I would like to stop. A little bad of lag, got a little bit of lag there from all the damage I did. Alright, I need to go up for this. I'm probably gonna regret this. Did I stop at that bench? I don't think I stopped at that bench. Oh, this is gonna be wondrous. I need to heal, and I'm going to take more soul from them. Alright, I am as full as I'm going to be. Because I ignored this guy the last time. I'm going to stop ignoring him. He is a pain! Oh wow, you actually cannot jump on him. I did not know that. You know, I'm just going to freaking lit whale on him because... Because in all honesty, this is a bad boss fight for me. I don't like that guy. I I don't know a clean way to fight him. Oh, good, I did stop here. I don't know a clean way to fight him. Actually, since I did die and I'm here at Dirtmouth, I might as well show this off. I'm not probably going to use it much regardless, but I'm going to at least show it off. Really? Mm, ah, hello again. Back, no. How have you been faring? Have you come to me because of your regrets? Let me peer in. Yes, I can see the regrets you've left behind. A dark stain, almost hidden by the glow of the shimmering crystals around it. Oh, he has a comment for every place you could die. Interesting. As a service, I can return your regrets to you so they can be dealt with. You want that, yes? Ah, but I'm very hungry. Perhaps you'd be willing to part with a little bit of your food? See, for so long as I have, and you build up quite the appetite. Take this rancid egg. What? Mm, I will enjoy this morsel tremendously. Now, as I promised, we will begin the ritual. And then he goes to hide. Ah, you seem to have made peace with your regrets in a most novel and, dare I say, brutish fashion. What a joy to behold. Farewell for now. I will think of you as I savor my meal. I didn't actually know. We basically had a comment for any place you would you could die. That's kind of interesting to know. Uh, yeah, I, we still need to fight him. There's really effectively only two things I want to do in the Crystal Peaks, and one of them is basically at the resting grounds. The other, which 
is this guy who I've died to. I, I, I hate his fight. I hate fighting him so much. Because it's just... I, I don't have a good way to fight him. I really don't. And we're going to be trying again because I'm smart. Let's see if I can do this without needing to waste any heal. Um, that doesn't really help me out much. That'll help me out a little. Alright, in we go. Did I not get Geo? I lost my Geo doing that. Okay, so that's one aspect I didn't know. You will lose your Geo when you do that. Oh no, that's right. I had no Geo. I had no Geo. What am I talking about? Maybe if I'm like on the cliff. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna hog hug the cliff. So every time he roars, he summons down the crystals from above. Come closer. Come closer. Come closer. Come closer. That's not coming closer. Alright, alright, we're still good. I'm gonna take that hit. I hate it because he doesn't give you a lot of time to properly dodge. And there's no time at all to heal. No time at all to heal. Alright. Right up close. Whatever. Gonna wail on you! Gonna wail on you! Gonna wail on you! Stop on the bench! Stop on the bench! He went up, of course. And we can't get up there yet. We'll have to come back for him. But we've defeated him, we've opened up that bench. And now I'm gonna continue onward, because I do want to at least try to finish up my intentions. Um, yeah, thankfully, it's not too far we need to go, and I know exactly where I need to stop. So this might be a slightly longer ow, episode, but I digress. Doop, doop. Oh, no, that was actually decently smooth. And that, and that. So I got hit there once so far. That's actually not that bad. I mean, I could be hit a lot more, many more times. A lot many more times. Yes, I grammar good. Uh, English, how does it work? Alright, so we just need to quickly progress to this room. I'm going to ignore most of the enemies, I think. Yeah. And over you. One. Attack, attack, attack. Kill, kill, kill. Perfect. Give me the Geo. Alright, so of course down if we go straight down, we will reach the resting grounds, but instead. Hmm. This looks vaguely familiar. Actually, I wonder. No, that does not tell you anything. Good to know. And let's smash our way straight down. I like that they give you that very obvious tell if you stop and pay attention that yes, the ground is shaking. I bet I can go down here. Uh, this is the crystallized mound, however. It's... It's... It's a bit of an annoying area, truth be told. Because, yes, you can actually smash your head off the ceiling there, and you have jumps like this. And I'm gonna kill him. And we want to go straight up for now, because... There's a grub! Hey, grub. I do like that if you were to oop, ow, if you were to ow, yes. If you attack, if you flip over a platform, you can flip it right back. I kind of deserve that. You can flip it right back by attacking it again. So let's go up here, and we discover. Hmm. As you request. Bit of lag there. For freeing him, however, we get a nice little upgrade. 
and it's actually an upgrade. Our down smash is now the Descending Dark. It is much, it, I'm not, I don't know how much more powerful, but it is more powerful than the previous down smash. Effectively, the only thing you need to remember is the white abilities are stronger. Or the black abilities are stronger than the white abilities. As though darkness is more powerful than light in this. That's not entirely an accurate way to state it, but we'll get more into that later. For now, that's all we need to do here. So let's see if we can't jump down into the resting grounds and if I can't finish this episode off in relative style. Now then, I mentioned the uh, failed recording I had because of the Windows 10 update a few times now. I'm going to show off the only thing I really regret from uh, having to replay through this. The only thing I regret, and I actually kind of pointed this out on the map beforehand, is somehow when I was here the first time, not here, I missed this. I don't know how, but there's a stag station here. Hmm. Just gonna summon the stag here. Oh yeah, this is also where Conifer was. So, I, I, I'm annoyed with myself to put it mildly. The resting grounds. Passengers would come here to conduct rituals for those who had passed on. Not anymore though. Perhaps the dead conduct their own rituals now? Perhaps. For now though, I'm gonna save and update the map and look around. We have quite a bit taken care of. The resting grounds, as far as I'm concerned, are done. Or not the resting grounds, the howling cliffs, as far as I'm concerned, are done. So we don't have a lot left to cover. We do need to come back into the crystal, uh, crystal Peak a bit more. We need to finish off the resting grounds. The Forgotten Crossroads, we're not nearly done with yet, but we'll be, we'll be back there. A lot of areas to go, a lot of ground to cover. There's still a lot to do in this game. And we'll take care of that slowly as it comes down to it. For now, though, I'm going to call it here. I'll see you guys all next time. Later. <laughs>